Hello students, today we will learn how to draw pentagonal pyramid in SOLIDWORKS in drawing mode. So select drawing, click OK. Next she is a sheet format size, select A4, switch off this display sheet format, this background is not required. Select custom sheet size, type the sheet size as 297 and 210, click OK. Then observe the units, uh, unit should be mm. GS millimeter gram second this is a scale 1 is to 1 right click on sheet 1 go to properties select first angle apply changes so these are the initial settings which you should apply you can just use your scroll button to zoom in and zoom out of the sheet and to fit the sheet we have an option called zoom to fit you can click on that option to fit the sheet according to the screen so let us go to sketch let us draw XY line so before I start the drawing, I will paste the question here. To paste the question, I will go to annotation, note, already I have copied the question. So I will say control V. So this is the question which I am going to solve today. That is on pentagonal pyramid. So in the question they are given, a pentagonal pyramid of 30 mm base edges and 60 mm axis height rests on one of its triangular faces. Draw the projection of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to VP at 45 degree and base is nearer to the observer. So let us solve this question. First let me draw the pentagon. Go to sketch tab, click on polygon, number of sides is 5, draw a pentagon. Right? After drawing pentagon, select any one of the side, make it vertical, make it vertical, delete the circle, construct the slant edges. So you can connect the corner to the opposite midpoint like that you can get the axis now you connect this to this okay connect to all corners so they have given side of 30 mm right so as you can see here one of the sides is not intersecting in that case you can always select this and you can select this say merge okay if at all if you do mistake do not try to delete and redraw try to edit it Next is the relations. You can see here each one of the sides are maintaining relationships with each other. You can see the symbol called equal. Similarly, this line is vertical. Let me apply the constraint that the side is 30 mm. So how do I apply this? Go to smart dimension, select the side, click on the sheet, type 30. Type 30. How do I remove double zero is? Go to options, document properties, dimensions. You can see your trailing zeros under dimension select remove click ok click ok that is how you can remove since all sides have to be made thick so let me make it to 0.5 mm right then slightly i can move it up there will be no change in the shape or size you can just confirm this size of each side you can just click on the side and you'll get to know each slant edge it appears to be 25.519 mm. Next let me draw the front view of this. Go to line. From axis drop on perpendicular projector. Then from there draw an axis height. In this question the axis height is 60 mm. So give the length as 60. Give the length as 60. Select this. Change the line type to chain type. Chain type. Next keep dropping projectors from all base corners see in order to exit from the current location double click if you double click it will exit from the current location but still the line tool will be active if you press escape it will exit from the line tool okay be careful so let me complete the front view this is how it appears in front view so you can use box to select all the line entities and deselect by holding control key make the remaining lines as 0.5 mm. So this is how it appears in front. Let me go to annotation, note, type A, B. This is the base of the pentagonal pyramid. O of O1, like this, type it. Now you can name it. So you can see, start with A here. Next comes B. Next is C, B, E, O of O1, like this, you can name it. So this point is 
a dash a dash b dash in bracket e dash c dash in bracket d dash okay so type it according to your convenience then you can drag it and you can place it to the required position this is b dash in bracket e dash this is c dash in bracket d dash and this point is o1 dash and this point is o dash clear so let me go to sketch and extend xy line so let me draw a line go to trim sorry extend entities extend this xy line up to this later you can delete this go to notation note type using caps type x y vp hp right so let me drag it let me place it x here y here vp and hp so this completes the first position in this we have taken care that one of the triangle faces is towards the right side or you can keep it left side also not a problem but this ocd should be lying on hp that is on xy line because they have said in the question that the triangular face should rest on hp so we have selected ocd as a triangle now this ocd will be on xy line so how do i do that is there are numerous way to do it first is measuring the angle so if you measure the angle you will get this angle as 108.9 uh, 99 you can copy this and you can rotate it the other way is by dropping a perpendicular so what i will do is i'll be drop drawing a line here which is perpendicular means the slant edge has a triangular face and this line i'll select i'll make it perpendicular when i do that this becomes perpendicular then comes the mirror mirror select this entities to mirror mirror about this line click ok why we need to do this is the question now why we need to do this suppose if i drop a vertical line here you will get to know this angle between this line and this line is 108199 is the same angle which i measured it earlier so the same angle i got it here so i need some reference line to rotate for that i have created this line so what i will be doing in the next portion is go to copy entities copy the entire front view along with this reference line start point select the start point place the destination point on xy line press escape after this the next step what is the next step i should rotate it and i should make sure that o dash c dash d dash is on xy line so I go to rotate entities so draw it Okay, center of rotation is this do not select this line because this is the reference line which remains fixed so select this as a center of rotation now you can observe if i drag it and if i leave it that o dash c dash d dash will be on x y line so this angle of rotation i need not give here i can directly make use of this reference line which i have created okay click ok press escape now you can delete the construction line not required there is sufficient amount of space towards left side i can just move it go to move entities move from current location to this location so that i there's sufficient space for the third position next comes the top view next comes the top view so go to line let us start with o this is o this is o1 connected to so like this in a single line you can draw multiple lines for example c d and c dash d dash so this is d horizontal d dash vertical will be connected to this similarly c horizontal c dash vertical will be connected to this similarly b and e you can observe the alignment indicator this is e and next comes b similarly we have a So like this you can complete now let us name this how do i name go to annotation note a a b c d e o o1 okay press escape next let me place it a next is b here next is c 
D. You can follow the sequence A, B, C, D, E. The same way it will be arranged. Okay. This is O1. This is O. First step is connect or the outermost points. O, E, E, D. D, C is already there. C, B, B, 2, O. These lines should always be visible. These lines cannot become hidden. So make it to point by. Okay, this is the outline of the solid. Once it is rested on triangular face, this is how it appears from top. Since A is near to the observer, the entire face A, B, C, D, E will be visible. So A to B, A to E, A to O. These lines will be visible. Select this, make it to point 0.5. Select this, select this, make it to point 0.5. Like this, the entire face is visible. Now you can see here there is only two edges which are remaining, O, C and O, D. Since C and D are away from the observer, you can mark these two edges as hidden. Okay. Select this and select this, make it to point 0.5. Go to time line type. Change it. Only a small amount of access line will be remaining. You can trim this small portion of the line and you can draw that line as chain type to show the axis. Okay, select it, make it to chain. So this completes the second position top view. Next position is the VP inclination, which they are given phi is 45 degree base is nearer to the observer since phi is true inclination and what we have here is apparent length that is from O1 to O this is not true length true length of the axis is 60 mm you can see here true length of the axis is 60 mm apparent length of the axis is 56.74 so you cannot incline apparent length with true inclination ok next is we will draw true inclination the argument true inclination is 45 degree draw true inclination so measure the angle between these two, call it as 45. Okay. After this, cut an arc of true length of the axis. So go to arc by center point. You can see here, first is the center, second point is the start point of the arc, third point is the end point of the arc. Right. So select any point on this, draw a 60 mm, approximately 60 mm arc. Go to smart dimension, dimension this arc, make it to 60 make it to 60, go to trim, trim this. Next, go to arc, before you go to arc, copy this dimension, select this dimension, you can see the dimension towards your left side, control C, control C stands for copy. Without locus, you can't proceed. Draw the locus, now you go to arc by center point, select the center, cut an arc of approximately 56 mm. Okay, it can be so nearer to it, not a problem. So draw an arc. Here, go to smart dimension, dimension this which control V control V so it is 56.74 this is the arc which we have cut now I'll trim this to get the same point I will connect this to the center to get the center move the cursor on the arc you will get the highlighted point that is the center of the arc then extend it beyond XY line trim it now measure the angle this and this so this is the angle which we have obtained it is make this dimension driven ok 48.4 so you can see here 48.399 ok it is rounded off to 48.4 now let us copy and let us paste on the beta beta is 48.4 phi is 45 so let me go to copy entities copy entities copy this start point from this apex to the center which we have taken here this is the center ok next Okay. Now let us rotate this, go to rotate entities, select everything except this line, except this line, center of rotation is this point. Now you select the axis, drag it and leave it on beta. You can see the orange color. This is beta and the previous line was phi. Leave it on beta, click OK. So that is how I can rotate. You can see here, this is the line, beta line, this is the phi. Okay. Now, I should draw the front view. Go to line. Let me draw the front view now. You can start with O itself. So this is O2. O dash will be on XY line. Similarly, C and D will be on XY line. So draw a perpendicular line. Draw a perpendicular line. C. Draw a perpendicular line. 
D. Next comes A, B, E. Where is A? A is on top. So connect to the topmost point. Next comes E. This is E to E dash. Similarly, B to B dash. Next is O1. O1 to O1 dash. So like this, you can complete solid. Now you go to annotation. Note type A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, O dash, O one dash. Okay. You can drag it, you can leave it. So I'll just zoom in. This is O, this is O one dash. Let us start with A. This is where A is. Next comes B. This is where B is. How do I know? You can see the projector. B vertical, B dash horizontal. Next is C will be here. D will be here. E will be here. Connect all the outermost points. Go to line. You can see here, if you connect to O, B will be outside. So, I should connect to B. B dash to O dash. O dash, C dash, D dash will be on X Y line. D dash, E dash, E dash, O dash. Okay. Select these lines and make it thick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make it to 0.5. Okay. Next comes the visibility. B, C is nearer to the observer. So, you can connect C and B and you can make it as visible. So like this, make it visible. Next, I should connect O, A. Next is O, E. Okay, select these two sides, make it to hidden. 0.5 mm dash type. Okay, so by this, I can see here, O, o A is connected, O, B is connected, O, C, O, D, O, E. Finished. A, B, E. B, C, C, D, D, E. So I have covered all the edges. So from O dash to O dash, connect with the axis line. Select this and convert this into chain type. Okay. So this completes the problem.